Hey guys, Alex here. And in this vlog, I'll get to talk about two things that I really love. Movies, and the portrayal of uh, ancient military history in cinema. Well, it's really just movies, really. It's one category. But yeah, uh, if you're on my channel, then you're probably a huge fan of ancient military warfare. And uh, probably a huge fan of the historical figures who waged warfare back in the day. Um, one such name probably comes up a lot in your minds, because I know it comes up a lot on my channels, and that's Hannibal Barca. He was the great Carthaginian commander who almost brought Rome to its knees during the Second Punic Wars. He, he uh, scored victory after victory against these, these huge, uh, famous Roman armies, these, these famous armies of legionnaires. And, um, yeah, uh, he's not my favorite military commander, but he's definitely up there, and I definitely love reading about his, uh, his military campaigns. See, I have a few books on him. I got Livy's The War with Hannibal. I got the old classic uh, book by Theodore Dodge. Pretty dated now. I got this this pretty big book by Richard Miles about Carthage must be destroyed. That talks about all the uh, about the military history of Carthage. I got this military biography on Hannibal by Richard Gabriel. It's called Hannibal: The Military Biography of Rome's Greatest Enemy, and that's that's a pretty uh, accurate title. He was one of Rome's greatest enemies. I got this old classic by Adrian Goldsworthy, The Punic Wars. So yeah, I'm pretty well read on Hannibal Barca. But again, he's not my favorite, but he's definitely he's definitely up there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure at some point, you know, you guys loving movies, well, at least most of you, and you guys loving ancient military history, I'm pretty sure at some point you would have done a search for a movie about Hannibal Barca, and you would have came up pretty short. I know there's an old movie back in the day, about Hannibal Barca. It's pretty uh, pretty dated now, but it starred uh, Victor Mature, so that's how old it, it is. Um, it's kind of an incoherent uh, piece of film filmmaking, but the fact that it's about Hannibal scored at least a few points in my book. Um, that was a long time ago. More recently, there was a, a docudrama about Hannibal Barca starring Alexander Siddig. Um, if you live in the United States, um, you can get that, that docudrama on this, uh, on this DVD collection called Warriors. Talks about other um, historical figures, but there's also a, uh, a a special feature about Hannibal, and that is what you want to see. It's a very great docu docudrama. Highly recommend it. But I'm sure some of you want to see something a bit more big budgeted, where you can see a lot more, you know, a lot more of the battlefield action, a lot more troop movements, and all that. And um, Hollywood, for all its faults, is the one to turn to when you want to see big, big battles and whatnot. But yeah, you might have came up with this uh, some articles about Vin Diesel and his pet project called Hannibal the Conqueror. And Vin Diesel, he's a very, um, a very known uh, proponent, a very known uh, supporter of, of Hannibal Barker. That's one of his favorite, actually that is his favorite military commander of all time. So uh, he's had this pet project for over a decade now, I kid you not, over a decade. But I've, been, I've been reading about this for a long time. Um, but he wanted to make a movie about Hannibal and... Uh, it would have been scripted back in the day by uh, David Franzoni. Um, David Franzoni wrote the script for he wrote the screenplay for Gladiator. So this guy has a lot of uh, experience writing screenplays. Um, Hannibal, I'm sorry, <laughs> Vin Diesel. On uh, in a, one of these uh, quotes, uh, quite recently, he went on to say that um, he could not. Let's see. The reason why he did not make a sequel to Triple X. That's a very old movie. Um, was because he was promised by the studio that he would um, he would make this movie about Hannibal the Conqueror, but for one reason or the other, he it, it just fell through. So uh, let's fast forward to more recent times. Back in, uh, in April, um, the recently um, passed away star uh, Paul Walker, one of his um, one of his best friends, um, he made this. Uh, he said this quote about him. He said. Uh, Paul Walker used to say that you need to do Hannibal. It's your life's work. That's Han that's uh, Paul Walker saying that to Vin Diesel. And um, so in retrospect, Vin Diesel said this. On my way to work this morning, can't help but to reflect. Pablo, who is Paul Walker, this movie is being completed in your honor. Miss you. Per tu sabe, tu sabe. So yeah, that's basically confirmation that he's going to proceed with this movie. And he made this quote in 2014, back in April. And, uh, yeah, that, that made some, some pretty big news, but it wasn't making uh, headlines, really. Um, it wasn't until recently, on uh, Vin Diesel's own, uh, on his own webpage, that, um, 
he's been posting a lot of uh, pictures and videos confirming that he is definitely on track with his Hannibal movie. I, I wrote some of these down. Um, See, so yeah, this movie's been in development for over a decade, and now I believe it's in pre-production. Um, so back in August 26, this is 2014, That's that was last week, he posted a picture of himself wearing a, uh, a Hannibal shirt. It's kind of car um, cartoonized, cartoonized, whatever, how do you say that? He's got a picture of an elephant on it and says Hannibal on the bottom. That was August 26. And then a few days later, August 29, he posted this video of himself in a helicopter taking off. Um, it starts off with a, um, with a, a shot of his, uh, of his title screen, Hannibal the Conqueror. And then he pans out and he shows that he's in a helicopter and he's taking off in some exotic place. It turns out to be Dubai. The reason why you know it's Dubai is because you see the, the famous... Uh, I can't pronounce this. The Burj Al Arab Hotel. That's a very distinctive uh, piece of architecture in Dubai. And um, he writes this quote from General Barca. We will find a way or we will make one. And this shows him taking off. So uh, either he's doing some uh, location scouting in Dubai or he's doing some actual pre-production work. Well, well, uh, that's the same thing, isn't it? But yeah, that's him in Dubai. That's August 29th. And then, uh, more recently, today, Labor Day, September 1, he wrote on his Facebook, Happy Labor of Love. Um, and then he says, his favorite general, well, hold on, he says, so I can't read my handwriting. Okay, he, he, uh, he's wearing this shirt, and he says it's his favorite general, and it's, it says General Barca. And it says General Barca BC on it, basically, and he, he wrote this, uh, um, this little caption, all roads, dot, 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 you know, all roads lead to Rome. Uh, so yeah, um, in that picture, it's, it's a picture of his, of his backside, and you can see that he has a beard. So I don't know what he's doing, but you know Hannibal did have a beard. So, um, so that's been making some pretty big headlines, at least in my circle. Um, one of my, my Facebook friends, uh, he, um, he sent me the, the link, and that's when I got you know, re-interested in this, in this project, because I, I knew for over a decade he's been, he's been doing this, because I, I've been doing my own research on it, um, you know, this, this, you know, reading everything that I could about this, this subject, about, about Hannibal the Conqueror, because I want to see this movie made, um, and a quick digression, there was another project I wanted to see be made, and that was this movie about Alexander the Great, and that would have been a Scorsese film starring Leo DiCaprio, but, um, that didn't happen. Maybe it could still happen. I mean, DiCaprio is still pretty youthful looking. Um, he can still make this movie. But yeah, let's go back to the, the topic here. Vin Diesel as Hannibal. Vin Diesel, he is the perfect person to play Hannibal Barca. Um, I've watched a lot of his movies recently. So we have Man of Parts, Triple X. Those are one of his, his, his older movies. Um, pretty cool things. Um, they weren't his best works. But yeah... Uh, then you have the Fast and Furious series, and then you have the uh, the Riddick series, Pitch Black, Chronicles of Riddick, and the more recent Riddick. If you watch those movies, you're going to see an actor who's definitely capable of playing Hannibal Barca. Because in, in Fast and Furious, you have this um, this guy with a lot of controlled rage, but he's able to uh, to come up with these really you know cunning plans and execute them, and um, you also, you know, feel his camaraderie with his uh, with his men. So uh, from that, you can you can pretty much see. Basically, it's it's basically Hannibal Barca driving a fast car, in my opinion. And then you have the more uh, recent uh, Riddick movie. Yeah, and this is about this uh, this pariah, who uh, you know he's the last of his kind. Um, you know the Furians, and and he plays a very uh, strong, uh, brooding character. And from that, you can gleam that this is the guy to play Hannibal. Because when you think of Hannibal, you think of a guy who's brooding. Because Hannibal, he, he grew up, um, you know, indoctrinated in this hate of Rome. Um, he, he made this quote. Uh, I can't even find it anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, basically, through blood and iron, he was going to arrest the development of Rome. He's going to arrest the destiny of Rome, actually. Um, I can't find the exact quote, but that's that's basically what it was. Um, but yeah, you just have this uh, this picture of a guy who just grew up hating Rome, and and th that's what I feel when I watch Riddick. I 
I, I, I feel that this guy is a guy with a lot of fury inside, and he's just waiting to let it out. Um, so yeah, he, he exudes, I'm talking about Vin Diesel now, Vin Diesel, he exudes, you know, calmness under pressure. Um, he has the cunningness, and he's, he's slick. Um, he can he can execute these maneuvers against the Romans because he's smarter than them. That's what I get when I, when I think of Vin Diesel. He's, he is the absolute perfect person to play Hannibal Barca. So, am I excited about this? Hell yeah, I am. I'm super excited about this. Um, but from what I what I can gather, it's pretty much confirmed that this movie is definitely in pre-production. And the fact that he's posting all these pictures on his Facebook, man, it, it's just exciting. Um, this is history in the making for me because I love cinema. And I think everybody out there wants to see a movie about Hannibal. And from what I understand, this might be a trilogy. I, I don't know. Um, we'll see. If it is, that's going to be epic. So you can see a lot more battles from, from Hannibal. Um, I, I know there was some friction caused about casting uh, Vin Diesel, but I, I read the arguments that they didn't really hold the candle in my eyes. Um, but yeah, people have their own personal preferences for who Hannibal should be. Um, you, you know, I've thought of other people, but at the top of my list of people who I'd consider being Hannibal, Vin Diesel was the person. And that was before I even started reading these articles about Vin Diesel's project, Hannibal the Conqueror. So uh, what are your opinions on this? Do you want to see this movie made? I mean, it's going to happen. What do you think about Vin Diesel as Hannibal? And, um, what do, you love, what do you think about Vin Diesel? I think he's this freaking awesome dude. He's like, you know, a guy's guy. You know, you're gonna go out to a bar, have a drink with him, talk about stuff. And, um, the fact that he loves military history, you know, as much as, as much as us, by us I mean my, my channel, then that's just a, that just scores many points, you know, for me, about Vin Diesel. So, I'd love to see this movie made. Um... Man, I would love to be casted in the movie, like, even as an extra. I'd, I'd just love to, you know, take part in these battles. You know, I could be one of his, his mercenary soldiers, because, you know, Hannibal's army was basically all mercenaries. I'm sure none of them came from the Philippines. But when you have so many extras, you know, you're not even going to notice that. I, I can't even have, like, a helmet on. And y you would never know. Maybe I could be, like, a, I don't know, Balearic Slinger, maybe? Or maybe a, maybe a horseman? I don't know. What am I talking about? What, what, what do you guys think, guys? And by the way, I do have a Facebook page. Um, I'll post a link to my Facebook page in the description. I post a lot of pictures there. And it's a lot more exciting than my Twitter page. So, um, post your thoughts, and I'll see you guys later. And uh, uh, Vin Diesel, man, good luck to this project. You definitely need to make this. And a lot of us are excited about this, like me especially. And I, I do promise you that I will watch this movie five times if it ever comes out. I'll watch it five times in theater. At least once in IMAX, if, if you make it for IMAX. But uh, I'm so excited, guys. Uh, post your thoughts.